Welcome to practice activity one. This video assumes that you already have Microsoft Office installed on your computer and that you've also set up your Microsoft account with the link provided by your instructor. First, let's go ahead and sign into Microsoft Office. If you already sign into a Windows PC or tablet, or you sign into an Xbox Live, Outlook.com, or OneDrive, you can use that account to sign into Office. To create a new Microsoft account in your browser, search for Sign Up for a Microsoft Account. Note that this activity is for Windows PC users. Mac users refer to the document Creating a Folder for File Storage on a Mac. In this activity, you will create a file and store it in a folder. This example will use the Documents folder on the PC at which you are working. If you prefer to store on your OneDrive or a USB flash drive, you can use similar steps. Take a moment to decide where you want to store your files for this course. And if necessary, insert your flash drive or other removable storage device. Launch Microsoft Word and choose a new blank document. At the top of your screen, in the title bar, notice that Document 1-Word displays. The blank option on the opening screen of an Office program displays a new unsaved file with a default name, Document 1, Presentation 1, and so on. As you create your file, your work is temporarily stored in the computer's memory until you indicate a save command, at which time you must choose a file name and a location in which to save your file. In the upper left corner of your screen, click the File tab to display Backstage View, and then on the left, if necessary, click Info. On the left, click Save As, and notice that if you are signed into Office with a Microsoft account, one option for storing your files is to use your OneDrive. You have to be signed into your Microsoft account to see OneDrive. When you are saving something for the first time, for example, a new Word document, the Save and Save As commands are identical. That is, the Save As commands will display if you click Save or if you click Save As. To store your Word file in the Documents folder on your PC, click Browse to display the Save As dialog box. On the left, in the navigation pane, scroll down. If necessary, click the arrow to expand this PC and then click Documents. In the Save As dialog box, you must indicate the name you want for the file and the location where you want to save the file. When working with your own data, it is good practice to pause at this point and determine the logical name and location for your file. For this assignment, name your file your first name underscore your last name. In the Save As dialog box, a toolbar displays, which is a row, column, or block of buttons or icons that displays across the top of a window and that contains commands or tasks you can perform with a single click. On the toolbar, click New Folder. In the File List, Windows creates a new folder, and the text New Folder is selected. Type BPC110 and press Enter. In Windows-based programs, the Enter key confirms an action. In the File List, double-click the name of your new folder to open it and display its name in the address bar. In the lower right corner of the Save As dialog box, click Cancel. In the upper left corner of the Backstage view, click the back arrow. In the upper right corner of the Word window, click Close. If prompted to save your changes, click Don't Save. Close any other open windows or programs. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.